Hey, welcome to Money Inspiration. My name is Sandy Levesque and I'm doing something new with money every day. In today's episode, I want to share with you quickly the story of someone who has inspired me massively the past couple of days. And I'll show you also a clip of when I met him for the first time in person in Chicago recently. His name's Aaron and he went from being a personal trainer making $25,000 a year to making $25,000 a month <laughs> and now he's a millionaire today. So how did he do that? Well, he was talking about this in an interview and he said that one of the major things that changed his life was brainwashing. <laughs> so today's inspiration is about the powers of brainwashing. So he described how he realized he's got to a point where he had to change the way he saw the world, change the way he saw money and change his whole thinking, like literally wash his brain <laughs> out of all the poverty thinking that was in there. So he was walking around all the time, apparently he was 25 at the time, with a massive bag of books. If you'd go anywhere for periods of time and one Christmas he had showed up with all these books and he was reading anything he could, listening to as much as he could. And his brother said to him, oh, you and your books, do you think they're really going to make you rich? And uh, the thing is that today, <laughs> His brother is eating his words because his brother earns an average salary, works in a job, and whereas Aaron is a millionaire. So it just goes to show that when you do change the way that you think about money, things change, your life changes, your physical reality changes. So I wanted to share that with you in case it can inspire you. If you have anyone saying to you, you know, why are you reading all this stuff about money? Why are you watching Money Inspiration? You know, just know that you're washing your brain and it's probably about time it was washed. <laughs> Unless of course you grew up around a sort of prosperity mindset, abundance mindset, but I think so many of us don't. And something that I would like to see in the future is young people being more exposed to that so they learn about money from a prosperity perspective rather than a poverty perspective. So there you go, that was Money Inspiration for today. Thank you for watching. If you're getting anything out of these episodes, click on the link below this video to subscribe to my newsletter and get more information and I'll show you a clip of when I met Aaron and I asked him a bit of a silly question. Bye. Uh, I haven't really thought about a Zumba class. <laughs> I work out every day but I haven't been into the classes at all. Oh okay. Well thank you. 